Hi everyone, my name is Rachel. Uh, I have a website slash blog, the-room.co.nz. Uh, I talk about all sorts of things from travel, beauty, fashion, movies, books, everything. Um, and I thought I would give another go at one of these video blogs. Uh, I don't do them very often. I've done a couple. I'm someone who hates watching myself, so I find them really hard to edit and put together. Uh, especially because there's so many people out there on the, you know, on YouTube doing an excellent job and I just think I look a bit ridiculous, but they are fun, so I'm gonna do a couple more anyway uh, and hopefully they're not too awful to watch, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, first of all I just want to say right up, I'm not a makeup expert, I wish I was. Uh, there are so many people who I love watching on YouTube who do amazing makeup tutorials uh, and, you know, show you how to, how to be better with makeup. But I'm unfortunately not that kind of person I wish I was. I just really enjoy makeup and I really like putting it on. I'm trying to be more kind of adventurous and experiment a bit more. So I thought I may as well just film any new things that I find or things that I like. Um, I do buy a bit too much makeup in general so I thought I may as well kind of make it more interesting and just start showing other people what I'm doing and what I'm getting anything I learn along the way because I, I hope over kind of the course of doing this I do get a bit better but we'll see and um, yeah so hope they're okay. So on that note something that I've just bought recently that I'm obsessed with and I wanted to kind of make a video about is and it's a really common kind of lipstick I'm sure a lot of people have it but it's one from MAC. Uh, everyone knows that they're an awesome brand and that they do really really amazing colours. They have the biggest range and here in London they have some really good MAC shops that I don't think we have at home or I never came across at home which is in New Zealand. So I got really excited when I went in the store and um, this is actually a colour called Russian Red. Um, I'll give you a look. So it's really bright. Uh, well I mean it's kind of bright but it's quite a dark really really cool red. It's like scarlet. It's actually a colour that my sister has. She's really good at experimenting with colours. She was really bright purples and oranges and reds and this is one that I think if you're a bit nervous about trying different colours it's a good one to go for because it's just a really classic red as opposed to something you know like orange or highlighter pink that's really full on. So I thought I would give it a give it a go. So today I'm just going to do some basic makeup uh, really simple that kind of lets the red lip speak for itself. So here we go. Okay, so to start for this look, I think it's important to have a really um, solid base kind of foundation and concealer I'm going to use because when you have red lipstick on, if you have um, pimples or if you have flushed cheeks or any kind of red tones in your skin, I think the red lipstick really brings it out. So I want to just kind of get a really solid base so that that, that doesn't happen. So to start off with, I'm just going to use um, a basic concealer that I use just for my... Um, sorry show you there. Um, it's just a really basic from number seven uh, concealer for under my eyes. Okay up close and personal. Um, what I do with this is I just um, actually usually just put some straight onto my finger. I find putting it directly on my face. Um, I always make a mess. So I'm just going to put some under my eyes to begin with. Um, some people might not need to do this. I'm the one who has I think because my skin's quite so pale, uh, I get really greyish, kind of ghostly looking under eye circles and it's, it's not a good look so I always just put on some concealer under my eyes. To begin with, and uh, if you have any particularly bad kind of spots on your skin or which I get far too many of, um, I would just dab a bit on there as well before doing the overall uh, uh, foundation. Cool, so that's just concealer. Okay, next what I'm going to do is just put on a really solid base of foundation. I'm actually using um, a full-on foundation. Sorry on foundation from Australis. I actually have done a review on this before. It's one of the only two videos I think I've done. So I'm just going to put this on now. It's really thick. It's pretty solid stuff but um, it gives a really good coverage. So it's 
just basically like a big stick form and you just kind of put it all over the show and then blend it in and I'm sure you know the makeup artists and the experienced uh, makeup users would have a much better way of doing this but this is what I do so it looks great you know I could just leave it like this but blend it in um, oh, I just use a kind of a this is a bit manky like a beauty blender sponge to blend the whole thing in So as you can see that's just made my skin look kind of a lot smoother and taken away any of the red little bits that I always seem to have on my face. Uh, and one thing I'm going to do as well, because I have a tendency, my skin's quite oily so I often get a bit of a sheen. Not initially when I put the makeup on but after, you know, when I go out half an hour, an hour later I'm kind of a bit shiny. So I just use, um, it's from Sally Hansen, it's just like a compact powder that I use with a brush. Um, I just put it on to, it kind of mattifies everything, stops me looking like a china doll or something. So I'm just going to put this on now too. Cool, the next thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of bronzer up my cheeks, uh, just so I don't look too washed out. It can be a bit risky doing... Um, blush or bronzer when you have really bright lipsticks because it can look quite over the top but at the same time I feel really washed out without it so I'm just going to put on a little bit. Uh, I just use bronzing beads from Body Shop, my favourite. Uh, oh sorry I'll show you this. So I just have bronzing beads in there and I just kind of get quite a big brush. Kind of coat the brush. Cool. I feel that just makes me like a little bit uh, less sickly if you will. I always like putting on uh, something on my cheeks just to have a bit of colour. Um, I quite often put a little bit down the middle of my nose as well when it's bronzer, not when it's blush obviously and sometimes on your forehead just to kind of make you look a bit more summery. Uh, yesterday was the first day of spring in England so summer is on its way. Uh, I'm not going to do too much eye makeup for this look because like I said at the beginning I want the red lip to kind of just be able to speak for itself so I'm just going to be doing um, mascara and also I just like to use a little bit this is just white powder um, eyeshadow it's loose it's not you know the pressed powder I just always like to put a little bit because I think it looks really pretty and kind of makes your eyes pop um, just a little bit in the middle here. So I'll just do that now. Uh, I actually just put on my mascara before I did the voiceover or talkie bit saying uh, I'm putting on mascara now so as you can tell I'm not a professional at doing the YouTube videos but you know whatever. Um, so I've just put on the mascara. I'll show you me putting it on now. <laughs> Okay, so that's the basic uh, makeup look done now for everything except the lipstick. So it's a really basic just foundation, bronzer, mascara, everyday kind of makeup. It's the stuff I would usually put on in the morning before going to the office. Um, so it's really basic, but it's the, make it's the lipstick that kind of, you know, makes it the interesting look that it is. So before putting the lipstick on, I'm just going to put on some lip balm. Blistics, the best, uh, just because... If you have dry mouth, um, or you know, dry skin on your mouth, it's quite gross to 
put lipstick straight onto that, so I'll just put some of this on. It smells like vanilla, it's heavenly. Okay, so we're ready to put the lipstick on now. Uh, some people, I mean I, I do as well sometimes, put on lip liner before lipstick, but this time I'm just going to put it on by itself, so wish me luck. Okay, so that's that makeup look done. Uh, it's pretty simple, I think anyone can do it. Everyone probably has all the basics, you know, the concealer, foundation, mascara. Um, red lipstick, there's a lot of different kinds out there. This is one that I just, I've always really liked um, on my sister anyway, and a lot of people seem to have, it's kind of just a classic, like a staple um, red lipstick, something that anyone can wear. I think it goes with any, you know, any skin tone. Um, and it's just really, timeless you know you see people in the 1920s wearing it and the 1950s and it's still just as popular today and I think that's because it's just an awesome look basically red lipstick and it just makes you feel you know confident wearing it and sassy so I would recommend giving it a go not sure if you like it but by all means let me know what you think and um, yeah until next time bye